Hey guys, it's Mike and Alex here from Angler Sports Center. We're kicking off our run to the perch run week. Um, we're gonna go try to catch some white perch and yellow perch over on the eastern shore. We just got done eating our breakfast. So Alex, where do you wanna go? I think we're gonna start off with uh, Tuckahoe. Uh, then after that, probably hit some other spots, but I think you're gonna be holding uh, in deeper holes right now. Mm -hmm. so Things is kind of like, you, you know, staging, pre-spawn, uh, and there's some holes we know, so let's go check them out. Yep. Thanks guys. Stay tuned. Hey, what's going on guys? So we're going to start off here in Hillsboro. Uh, we're right on Main Street. As you can see, we're right on the side of the road here by the main bridge uh, that crosses Hillsboro. And we're going to start right up here, see if there's any yellow perch, uh, white perch and whatnot. We're most likely going to catch this uh, yellow perch right now and some bycatches like pickerel yep. and even maybe some little bass. Yeah. Uh, so we're going to show you what we're going to use here and just go over, you know, where to kind of fish this area here and show you some other spots later on. So let's go. Hey guys, so we're going to do a little, go over a little bit of tackle that I'm using here. So the rod I have is a St. Croix Panfish Series. This is the 6.4 Lite with a Stratic 1000 spool with six pound mono. And then I have a V, tie on the end of it, I have a VMC Hot Skirts Jig. I do believe it's um, 3 16 with a tip with a minnow. This is a great um, jig to use for yellow perch. I'm gonna do is throw it out and bounce it off the bottom. See how it works. All right, so here I'm gonna show you guys what I'm using. I'm using a little bit something different than Mike, and I'm using one of our uh, homemade uh, slip bobber rigs here. So we have a bobber stopper that we can adjust our depth with, a little slip bobber, 1 16th of an ounce jig with a minnow. And as you can see, uh, the difference between what Mike's doing and this is that I can actually suspend this little jig uh, you know just right off the cert right off the bottom and play around with the depth and see what kind of depth those fish are in and just kind of let it sit there or just kind of work it uh, back towards me so that's the only difference there just to fish in a little bit shallower water and keep it off the bottom so that way we can find out where the fish are concentrating they're either going to be on the bottom or kind of suspended on some of these deeper water so we'll find out here soon First fish of the day here on a minnow, right by the bridge. And it seems like we got, uh, I don't know, let's see what we got here. Oh, it's a slime dart. Well, definitely when you come here, you're gonna be catching lots of these things too. A little pickerel. On that minute. Beautiful fish now. Alright guys, so we walked across the street uh, over to the other side of the bridge. And the reason why is because as you can see we have the bridge back here. There's a deep hole. Whatever you find, any kind of structures, especially a bridge like that, there's always going to be a deeper hole. And this time of the year, when the perch are staging, a little bit colder weather, they like to hole deep. So that's the reason why we moved over here, a little bit deeper water, and then it goes over to a flat here. So that's going to be one of those little areas where they're going to hold up. And hopefully they stacked in there. If not, with the tides, they'll move in and out and sit here. And you know, that's one of the, the areas you want to look for when you're uh, doing this style of fishing. All right, so now that we're fishing on, the, on this deeper area here, uh, the fish are gonna be holding closer to the bottom. And one of those things calls for a tandem rig here. We have our special anglers made tandem perch rig here, and it's two shaft darts. One a little bit heavier and a little bit higher, you know, a little, little bit lighter one on the top end. That way it just sits there almost like a teaser. You can tip them off with crash shrimp 
minnows, whatever you want on there. Uh, and they work perfect. So let's tie this on and catch some perch. These things are gonna be holding a little bit deeper here. These things are awesome, especially with the colors we have here. Uh, we use your local colors that are gonna work the best for all these areas here. And as we all agree here, if it ain't chartreuse, it ain't no use. So try it out. Nice little yellow perch here on the VMC hot skirts tip with a minnow. Nice little guy. Just bouncing it off the bottom nice and slow. Now the thing about cold water yellow perch fishing is they almost don't feel like bites. It just feels like a little bit of pressure. So you'll be bouncing it, bouncing it, and all of a sudden you'll feel a little bit more pressure. It's either going to be a stick or a fish. Usually going to be yellow perch. So that's the way we did it there release this little guy. Alright guys, so we decided to move down here to Stony Point, which is just down uh, from Hillsboro, like the bridge we were fishing. And the reason why we moved down here is because, as you can see, it's pretty open. And then we're in like a point here, that's why it's called Stony Point, and there's deeper water here. So, like we were speaking of how by the bridge there was a hole there, and those uh, yellow perch like the stage there. Uh, we pretty much follow the same bases there and just move south fishing deeper, deeper water. I'll probably say it's about 10 to 15 foot of water out there in the middle. And before those fish push way up to the upper parts of the creek, they'll sit here and you know school up so if you ever find a uh, school of fish sitting there you're probably going to catch multiple fish right after the other uh, and we're using a little bit, little bit different tactics here since we're fishing you know deeper water hey guys so the fish weren't cooperating with us today a little cold a little windy and also just a little bit early for the perch run so we tried fishing some bobbers some top, some bottom rigs with minnows worms and some jig heads um, fish weren't biting I think it's still a little earlier but um, we just want to give these videos out to show you some good spots to prepare for the perch run which should be here in the next few weeks it can only get better from here um, so thanks guys for watching <laughs>